In this video, I will be taking you on a trip back in professional sports history. New England professional sports history to be more specific as I will dive into former professional sports teams that have called the New England area of the United States home. Current teams that play here in New England won't be covered as I will only be discussing teams that no longer play for a city here in New England. Strap yourself in as history class is now in session. The Providence Grays were a Major League Baseball team based in Providence, Rhode Island who played in the National League from 1878 until 1885. The Grays played at the Messer Street grounds in the Olneyville neighborhood. The team won the National League title twice in 1879 and 1884. Following the 1884 season, they won the first World Series over the New York Metropolitans of the American Association. The team folded after the 1885 season. Rhode Island was a hotbed of baseball in the 1870s with several notable amateur clubs along with Brown University's powerhouse collegiate team. In 1875, the semi-pro Rhode Islands were formed. After successful seasons in 1875, 1876, and 1877, the team drew the attention of the recently formed National League. When the league elected to drop the Hartford franchise after the 1877 season, Providence was awarded a franchise to replace the Connecticut club. The new team was officially organized on January 16, 1878 by Benjamin Douglas, who became the team's general manager. Henry Root was hired as the team president, and Tom Carey was initially hired to be the on-field captain whose duties were similar to the modern-day manager. On January 21, 1878, Providence applied for membership in the National League and was officially approved on February 6. On April 10, Root took over ownership of the team, fired Douglas for incompetence and insubordinance, and hired Tom York to replace Carey as captain. On May 30th, the Providence Baseball Association was incorporated by the Rhode Island General Assembly. While the team practiced at the Dexter Training Ground in the spring of 1878, preparations were made to provide the team with, and I quote, the best baseball plant in the country, end quote. Construction of the Messer Street Grounds began on April 1st and took exactly one month to complete. The final nail was hammered a mere five minutes before the opening game got underway on May 1st. The following season, the team installed a screen behind home plate to protect the fans sitting there from injury due to foul balls and wild pitches. They were the first team in baseball history to do this, while some fans protested, complaining that they obstructed their view of the game. By the end of the next decade, they were commonplace. In a break with tradition, the National League's newest addition adopted gray flannel instead of white for their home uniform, and the team became known as the Grays. Other memorable highlights of the Grays' short existence include the second perfect game in Major League Baseball history, pitched by John Montgomery Ward on June 17, 1880, a no-hitter by Charles Radborn on July 25, 1883, and pitcher Charlie Sweeney striking out 19 batters in a nine-inning game on June 7, 1884, a record that would stand until broken by Roger Clemens 102 years later. They also still hold the record for the largest score in a shutout victory with a 28 to nothing victory over the Philadelphia Phillies on August 21st, 1883. I really hope you enjoyed this history lesson on a former New England sports team that you may or may not have known about. Truthfully, as I make these videos about these former New England teams, I'm learning a lot myself. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel or haven't considered subscribing yet. Please comment your thoughts down below as I would love to hear them. But until the next team, I will see you in the next one. But as always, I love you and I will see ya.